Today we're going to demonstrate how to make a calorimeter out of styrofoam cups. The reason you're doing this is to determine how much heat is released when you mix a solid with water. A calorimeter is a really simple device such as a foam cup that keeps the heat in because we want to measure how much heat is produced in this reaction. So what we're going to do is take two foam cups for layer of double insulation. We're going to put them together like so. The reaction is going to happen inside the foam cup. In most cases, you will add 100 milliliters of water to the foam cup. You will measure a predetermined amount of solid. In a lot of cases, it's about five grams and add it to the cup. The trick is, however, that we need to measure the temperature and be able to stir at the same time. We have pre-cut a cardboard disc that will fit perfectly on top of the calorimeter. There are two holes in the calorimeter. One for a thermometer to monitor the temperature and one for a stir rod that you will use to stir the solution. Very important tip here. You need to get the initial temperature before you add solid to this calorimeter. Once the solid is added, you will stir and monitor the temperature. That is the basic procedure for using a calorimeter and measuring the heat of solution when you add a solid. There's an alternative method to stirring your calorimeter. Rather than the old fashioned stir stick, which we just demonstrated, you can start over and this is a technique you've learned before. We can take the magnetic stirrer, put it into the solution, reattach the cardboard top, add the thermometer, and this will stir. You may have to turn it up a few RPMs because it does have to go through two layers of foam. But we can get that thing to stir. In fact, if you pop the lid off, just to double check, we are getting a nice little vortex in there.